In this video, I reviewed the three best cheap hammers on Amazon that actually work. Coming up. Hey everyone, it's David here from David's DIY Reviews. On this channel we do how-to videos, tutorials, and reviews just like this one. So if you're new to the channel, consider subscribing for a lot more really great content just like this. And if you're looking for a few tips and tricks on using hammers, claw hammers specifically, check out the YouTube card above. I've made a really great video on all the information, tips and tricks that you need to use a hammer properly. The first hammer I reviewed is the Fuller Tools 7 ounce or in metric 198 grams. It's an 11 inch hammer and it's a really good deal. It's $7.07 .07 right now. This is a really good quality hammer. It's got a tempered, hardened, drop forged head. It's got an all hardwood handle. It's got a lifetime warranty. It's a really good solid kind of medium sized hammer. And like I said, this is a really good medium sized hammer. It's not going to be big enough, you know, like framing a house or doing, you know, big projects like that. But for around the house, kind of DIY, smaller stuff, this is a really good option. Um, I like the hardwood handle. The downside of that is they can come loose on the head eventually. They can break or wear out if you're not careful with them. But, I mean, for what this hammer is really going to be used for, the handle's nice, the head's nice, it feels good, the claw's really good. I really like this hammer and like I said also it's a fuller tools hammer all fuller tools equipment and tools have lifetime warranties so that's great it has a really nice swinging feel uh, it drives nails really well at least you know nails that are in the size range that you'd use this hammer for it pulls nails really well with the claw I like the feel of this it's weighted well I would really, really recommend this hammer for, like I said, small stuff around the house, small DIY projects, a great option. The next hammer I reviewed is the Fuller Tools 16 ounce. Now this is a bigger kind of full size hammer. It's 12 and a half inches long. It's, like I said, 16 ounces or in metric 450 grams. This hammer is 11.79, which is a little more than the seven ounce, but for a 16 ounce hammer under $12, that's a great deal. It also comes with the tempered forged hardened head also like the fuller tools comes with a lifetime warranty i mean under 12 dollars with a lifetime warranty this is a really great hammer it's got a rubber handle which feels really good but under the rubber handle it's a tubular style hammer and I, i'm not really a fan of that because it's tubular what i've seen in the past happen a lot is if you're hammering and you miss something and you dent that as soon as that's dented that tube is really weakened and the head will start to bend and come come loose and flex and really at that point the hammer is done. I don't like the tubular part of it, but if you're careful with it, you don't miss too much, it's going to still work for you. A more expensive hammer will be all one piece, all steel, and then nothing comes loose, nothing moves. Um, the one downside of this is if the head comes loose, you can't retighten it. Unlike the, the seven ounce fuller, it's a wood handle. So what you can do is actually nail in the top to retighten the head if it comes loose. That's the downside of those two hammers is the heads can come loose and if you use them a lot, they probably will. But for a low use hammer, they're still both great. And this hammer feels really good. I've actually been using this hammer a lot lately since I got it. It drives nails really well. It pulls nails really well and really straight. It's a really good feeling hammer. I mean, there's not much more you can say about it really. The third hammer I reviewed is the Great Neck Tools Essentials 8 ounce or 227 gram hammer. It's 8 inches long and it's $7.20 on Amazon right now. And you might be thinking, what the heck is that? It's kind of weird looking. Well, this is kind of an interesting one. What's interesting about this hammer is it's actually a hammer screwdriver combination tool. Inside the handle which screws off, there's actually a 3 16 and 1 8 flat blade screwdriver and a size 0 and a size 1 Phillips screwdriver. How it works is first you can screw off just the bottom portion of the handle and inside there is the smaller flat blade screwdriver. Inside of that is the larger Phillips screwdriver and then if you unscrew the second portion of the handle you've got the bigger flat blade screwdriver and then off of the bottom of the smaller flat blade you unscrew that and you've got the smallest Phillips screwdriver. Now, these are all kind of little fiddly screwdrivers and you're not gonna do much with them really. As well, the hammer is very small 
it's you know you're not gonna frame a house with this you're not gonna fix a car with this but if you're gonna have one tool in your house or kind of a go tool go to do all tool this is a great option I kind of like it it's all steel it also has a limited lifetime warranty so if it's defected or broken you can get a new one it doesn't look like much and it's a little finicky but it's actually a really great product now as you would think this hammer you know it's not the best thing in the world it's pretty small it's gonna work well for small nails you know like ha hanging a picture on a wall or doing little hardware work like that the screwdrivers are small you know you could use them for fixing you know little electronics things like that toys you know battery hold downs battery hatches and toys stuff like that it does drive nails fairly well at least the size of nails you would use this hammer for the screwdrivers they are tough to hold but they do work you're not going to screw you know screws into wood with it although i did try and it is possible it's going to be more for screws that have already been put into something eh, it's not the best it's not the worst but for the price it's definitely something useful to have now of course none of these hammers are professional grade hammers i mean you know none of them are the best thing in the world by any means but you could get all three of these for under 30 bucks and if you don't have any hammers and you're in the market for one or in the market for a couple plus you know like a do-all tool i mean these three are a really really great option um you know what can i say they're pretty good the price is right and hey guys in the comments below let me know what's your favorite hammer or your go-to hammer or maybe what's a really good recommendation of a hammer for someone that's actually in the market for one and see you in the next video